It seems like whenever Richmond faces a tough problem, Mayor Gail McLaughlin packs her suitcase and flies away. When Richmond needed someone to fight crime, Gail flew away to Ecuador. When Richmond needed someone to fix crumbling public housing, Gail flew away to Cuba. When Richmond needed someone to attract new businesses and jobs, Gail flew away to D.C. to try to free convicted foreign spies. Mayor Gail McLaughlin ran away when we needed her the most. Why would we elect her to city council? An ad by Chevron's campaign committee moving forward targeting Gail McLaughlin. Can you please explain this for a global audience that might not understand um, what is going on in Richmond right now, the extent to which Chevron is a player in your municipal elections? Thank you, Amy. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, yes, um, what's happening in Richmond now is that we have made remarkable, a remarkable transformation over the past 10 years since I've been in office with other progressive electives, electives and a progressive community. Um, previous to that, over the past 100 years, we were known as a company town, with Chevron having control of the city council, having the um, city council bought out uh, in their pockets. Um, we had among the highest rates in the nation of violence. Um, we were known for widespread corruption. Um, you know, Richmond had uh, the refinery with a situation of allowing it to continue to pollute without the uh, refinery paying its fair share of taxes, without hiring locally, um, without um, uh, upgrading the refinery in a responsible way in terms of um, uh, having safety for our residents. In fact, um, they have thousands of clamps holding corroded pipes together. And that's what led to the fire of 2012. But um, at a certain point in 2003, we formed a progressive alliance, and that, um, that RPA, Richmond Progressive Alliance, ran people for elected office. We won five local elections, including my mayoral seat, and we set about making the people's priorities the, the focus of our work as elected officials. And uh, that has led to many, many gains. We um, won a $114 million tax settlement with Chevron. Um, we've renovated our parks, many, many um, urban renewal projects, and we've reduced our our crime dramatically, a 70 percent reduction in homicides. Um, we are continuing to put forward sustainable projects, number one in the Bay Area for solar installed per capita. So um, we're spiraling up, after reversing that downward spiral. And um, Chevron feels very threatened with, uh, by that. They want to stop us as progressives. They want to, you know, continue and get and regain the city council in their pockets. And so we're standing tall and making it clear that we're a community that defines its own destiny and will continue to do so. so you know, yeah, sure, Chevron um, does some good things in the city of Richmond, but it comes at a price. Uh, first and foremost, Foremost, they um, require all the money that they give to nonprofits to um, come with this uh, requirement that these nonprofits utilize Chevron's logo in their press releases, and they have press conferences where Chevron gets to do its PR campaign. Um, so it comes at a price. Uh, we yes, uh, we think those are good projects that they have contributed to, but it is no excuse for one domineering company to try and buy a city's election. And what about the fire the, uh, uh, that uh, led to your uh, council and your government uh, seeking redress from Chevron? Could you talk about the impact on the, your community? Yes, the uh, 2012 horrific fire caused great damage to our community. Um, it, it was um, a situation where 15,000 people went to local hospitals for respiratory ailments. Um, we had damages to our local economy in terms of our um, property values were lowered, and there was a slowdown in attraction of new businesses to Richmond. So we feel that there was, um, you know, a huge trauma um, and a huge impact on the 
health and the economic future of Richmond. So we are taking them to court. We have a lawsuit. It's the first ever lawsuit um, that the city of Richmond has uh, waged against Chevron. And we think we um, deserve a city council that will stand strong and not drop this lawsuit. If Chevron-friendly candidates get into the city council, we fear that's exactly what will happen. The lawsuit will be dropped, or a very weak settlement will come about. We want to stand, uh, stand strong and get the kind of um, compensation that the community deserves. And we want to make it clear that Chevron's corporate culture must change, that they must put the health and well-being of our community before their corporate profit. Mm -hmm.